Hey everyone. I have been putting off making a video for a long time and I have been trying to control my temper and my new effort to be a better person. However, seeing as to how people won't stop being dimwits, I'm going to have to spell this out for you. Islam is not a race. It's a religion. Therefore, when I say Muslims have to believe in Muhammad, their prophet, and follow him as their ultimate role model, it doesn't mean I'm a racist. Because Islam is not a race. If you believe in Muhammad and Allah, you're a Muslim. If you follow Muhammad as your ultimate role model, you're a Muslim. What did Muhammad do? He was a rapist, a pedophile, a mass murderer, not to mention a warmonger, liar, cheater, thief, adulterer. He took in hundreds of sex slaves, spilled plenty of blood all around the world, all in his name, all on his hands, all because of his teachings. And if you fall for this jihad is self-betterment crap, See, I said I wasn't going to get angry. You deserve anything that comes to you. Because the information is out there. Okay? Jihad is not self-betterment. Jihad is from the noun jihad, meaning to put out effort. Okay? Now, Islam took this Arabic word and turned it into jihad, and that means for the sake of Allah. Jihad is exerting effort for the sake of Allah. Now, what does Allah want? Allah wants everybody to become Muslims. Okay, Jihad is mentioned several times in the Quran. Several times in the Quran, it's mentioned, kill them and fight them. Cut off their heads. Now, some people will say, well, just because it's Jihad, it doesn't mean it's violent Jihad. Okay, on the terms in Islam where you don't have an explanation in the Quran. You're supposed to refer to Sira and Sunnah. That's everything that Muhammad said and did. For Muhammad, what he did when he was in Mecca, a pagan place, when he was outnumbered, when he first started on his um, revelations, and he was first trying to convert people, he did it peacefully, secretly. He did it, pretended that he wasn't doing anything, and then was doing everything on the down low. Then he started to call for people to convert on the outside, publicly. Then he got kicked out of Mecca because him and his buddies were troublemakers and the pagans didn't want them there. And what happened? They went to Medina. Okay? Medina already had a following for Muhammad. That was the last time Muhammad ever, ever called for anybody to convert in a peaceful manner. Never again in Muhammad's life did that happen. After that, it was war, it was murder, it was sex slaves, it was craziness. You want an example? Bani Khaybar was a village next to Al Medina. Muhammad had a dream where one of the women from Bani Khaybar, they were all Jews, had poisoned his water. So the best solution that he could find, this is the Muslim role model, was to go in there and kill everybody and take the women and make them sex slaves. Jawadi or Ajadia. That's what they're doing to the Yazidi and Christian women in Syria, in Iraq, by ISIS or ISIL. This is what's happening. They're not bad Muslims. They're perfect Muslims. I have never seen more devout Muslims in my life. And I grew up as one in the Middle East by a family that was well known to be very lenient in their religion. Growing up, none of my aunts had hijab wearing, wore hijab. None of them prayed five times a day. My dad, if you look at him, he wears shorts, he's got necklaces, he's very westernized. Let me tell you, 
Sharia law is real. Jihad is real. And it's not self-betterment. Muslims believe that it's more merciful to kill a non-believer because it is better for them to die than it is for them to live a life outside of Allah and outside of Islam. So no, for the person that said saying that all Muslims are terrorists is like saying all Italians are in the mafia, you're a dimwit. Italians are a race. They're a country. They come from a country. They're not a religion. They're not a belief system. So get over yourselves and start educating yourselves. And to everybody else who's talking about Islam getting taught in schools, I have to say this. I have no problem with Islam getting taught in schools. Make sure you actually teach about Islam. I don't want to hear anybody sugarcoating it. I don't want to hear anybody taking out parts that are inconvenient. If you're going to talk about Christianity, you can't teach about Christianity without teaching about Christ. You can't teach about Judaism without teaching about Moses. You can't teach about Buddhism without teaching about Buddha. Don't teach about Islam without talking about Muhammad, his 11 wives, his most favorite, the 9-year-old, he used to take off the playground to go and have fun between her thighs. That is an Islam. You think that's inappropriate? You want me to read you some of the things in the Sirah and the Sunnah? It is nothing. This is nothing compared to what I was taught when I was six years old. You want to teach about Islam? Teach about Muhammad's sex slaves. Teach about slavery that was spread around the world by Islam. My black American people, y'all are mad about it? Those are the people that spread slavery. Their merchants are the ones that spread slavery all around the world. They're the ones that still have over 20 million black slaves in Muslim countries and nobody's talking about it. They're not worried about women getting stoned and killed and butchered in Muslim countries. They're not worried about Yazidi little girls that are getting taken as sex slaves. Yet people who are just accused of being gay in Muslim countries are getting thrown off of buildings. You hypocrites. I have had it. If you want to learn, don't come up and challenge me about and give me one incident where a Muslim did one good thing and ignore 1,400 years of violence. You want to know where the Quran talks about jihad? Read the Quran. You want to know about Sunnah and you want to know about Sita? Read them. They're there. But do, and if you're a Muslim, do not insult my intelligence and you try to use the on me. You're way out of your league.